Facebook is intact. Facebook is intact. Facebook is intact. And we'll see who is on here for tonight. All right, getting started now, Ma. Okay. All right. And Facebook is intact. Zoom is intact. Sister Sherry, here you are. Good to see you on tonight. Waiting to see you. Others may join in. Sister Truth, good to have you on here tonight. Blessing from God to all that may be tuning in to your midnight snack, your nightly edition of God's Word to utilize and also to and to bless you. Sister Linda, good to see you on tonight as well. Let's see who else may be coming in before we get started. Hope and pray that we can provide something for you that will provide just a little comfort, just a little hope. Uh, just also just to bless your spirit tonight uh, as well, coming from the Word of God. This has been a uh, long day, uh, and, and I'll say that negatively. Uh, this day has just been long because we've had so much that we've had to do today. and But we are thankful to God that we have this opportunity. So, We'll give another minute or so, 11.02 now, by at least 11.04, we'll go ahead and get started and provide you with a quick midnight snack on tonight as well. And let me just say, we're appreciative to you all who, who join us nightly and who look forward to this. And even to those who may view this at a later time, again, we say we chose 11 o'clock. We realize that 11 o'clock, that's a little past some bedtime. Some others may be just getting up. Some may be doing some other activity, maybe sleep, uh, whatever the case may be. We want to give you something that will at least enhance uh, your ability to know that God is an awesome God and how we serve a God that is, is worthy to be praised and worthy to be, to be served. We honor his presence in our lives every day. We've got one more minute and we will get started with the midnight snack. See if anybody else will chime in on Zoom on tonight as well. And we hope and pray that all of you all have been blessed on this particular day as well as, as we have been also. Okay, and we we truly, we truly thank God for his amazing grace. I don't think we give enough recognition to that song amazing grace but you ought to think about it how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me carwell good to see you gene I, I i see that you've chimed in on zoom good to have you here and we will be getting started with the midnight snack in about 30 seconds hang on ladies uh, and gentlemen that will be coming on and we will bless you on tonight we hope this will lift you up or share this with somebody to lift them up. We, we want you to share this. If this message blesses you, uh, share this with somebody. Just hit the share button on your, on your Facebook. Um, hold a watch party. All, you know, it, 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 all of it is welcome because we want others to feel the blessing that comes from this as well. It said you're good to have you on here tonight and Rayleigh, you better be in the bed as we speak on tonight. All right. So for your midnight snack, others may chime in in the middle of it, but we're going to go ahead and start because we don't want to hold you. 11.04 is our time, and here we go. Uh, all of us have dealt with some challenging times in our life. Uh, I want to give you a perspective of the Bible that we've read uh, pretty much all of our lives, those of us that are on here. I want you to take some consideration uh, this particular uh, um, account that the Bible is going to give, and this is the last this is the last few days and hours of Jesus's life, and I want you to put this into perspective as well. Now, each one of the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, provide uh, a little bit more detail to the last days of Jesus. Uh, all of them say the same thing, but each one provides a little bit more detail. The Gospel of Mark provides one detail that I find just just awesome in the way I see it and the way I view it and the way I read it. And here it goes. This is Mark chapter 15 and just a couple of verses. Uh, verse number 16, the soldiers took Jesus into the courtyard of the governor's headquarters, also called a praetorium, 
and called out the entire regiment. Okay, so now Jesus is on trial uh, in, front of, in front of hundreds of people, and they are accusing him of blasphemy. Verse number 19 says that they struck Jesus on the head with a reed stick. They spit on him. They dropped to their knees, and they mocked him in worship. So when you go down in Mark chapter 15, at verse 31, the Bible says the leading priest and teachers of religious law also mocked Jesus. And this is what they said. He saved others. They laughed at, but he can't save himself. Verse number 39 of Mark chapter 16 is what I want you to get. Brother Vernon, good to have you as well. Sister Kathy, I see you as well. This is what the Bible said. When Jesus gave the loud cry and breathed his last breath, that the curtain in the sanctuary of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The Roman soldier who stood facing Jesus saw how he had died, and he said, this man truly was the son of God. Here, here, here is my question to you. Think about this. Do you recognize Jesus right now in your life? Do you recognize Jesus in your life? Let me take the accounts of what has happened to Jesus, and then I want to use them to see if they, if you can identify with them. First of all, Jesus was betrayed, and then he was arrested. Okay, remember, he's already been betrayed by, by Judas, and now he is arrested. He was tried by Annas and Caiaphas, okay? He was tried by the Sanhedrin unit. He was tried by Pilate. He was beaten. He carried his own cross. He was crucified and buried. He was left all alone. But he got up. Think about this. Have you overcome your trials in your life? If you have, you have gotten up. Listen, your friends have betrayed you. Someone in your life has betrayed you. Someone in your life has talked about you. You were judged and frowned upon. Some of them even laughed at you when they thought that you were going nowhere. You have been through all your trials. You've been through all your tribulations. You've dealt with some hard circumstances. You saw that things went against you. You've had setbacks in your life. You've been deserted by people when you needed them. Some have even laughed at you. All of this at some point has, has touched you in some way or another. But you got up. In each instance, haven't you seen and recognized Jesus being the one who has brought you out of this? This Roman soldier had witnessed everything that the Lord had gone through. And he stood back after all that and said, truly, this was the son of God. When you look at the course of your life out of all the things that you have been through, health wise, emotionally wise, physically, all of these things are going on. Life. Have you stood back and looked at how you got over and said to yourself, truly, this is Jesus in my life. Keep this in mind. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Keep that in mind. Keep this in mind. Though he slay me, yet I trust him. Keep this in mind. Romans chapter 8, if God is for me, who can be against me? Keep that in mind. After all that I've been through, I still have joy because I know that God has blessed me to overcome. Amen. An old song says, how I got over. How I got over. My soul looked out in wonder. How I got over. When you look at it, can't you see that Jesus got you over? Can't you see that Jesus got you, got you over? Yeah. Now you have no more rivers to cross. Can't you see the Lord in your life? Don't you recognize Jesus? Jesus got you out of that pit. Ask Joseph down in that well by himself. And when he looked up after his family has deserted him, after people had deserted him, after he had been left by himself, and sometimes you find yourself by yourself, when you look at it, don't you say that God got me over? Don't you recognize God? 
I will say to you, if you have not established that relationship with the Lord and been baptized and added to the church, you don't know what you're missing. Campbell's Soup used to have a slogan a long time ago that says, mm, mm, good. And that's what God is. He's mm, mm, good. Marilyn, glad to have you on here tonight. Aunt Doris, glad to have you on here tonight. Many others who are watching and didn't recognize you, glad to have you. Uh, my family that's on Zoom, glad to have you on here tonight. I hope that this has blessed you on tonight and recognize Jesus and then remember he got me over. I stood back and wondered how I got over. God bless you all. Have a good night and if it's the Lord's will, we'll wake up to see a brand new day on tomorrow and again have the same song in our heart. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Good night, everybody, and God bless you.